Welcome back to Soda City Live. There's a stage play coming to a local theater that aims to inspire teen girls, featuring an all-female cast of young ladies of color. Brown Skin Girl will tackle insecurities of adolescents through drama, poetry, and music. Joining me with more information about this production is Director of Marketing and Public Relations with Walking on Water Performing Arts Center is Josetra Baxter, a returning guest, and actress Christina Alderman, who portrays Deja in the play. Thank you ladies so much for joining me. Thank oh, you for having welcome. us. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, Christina actually just shared with me that she just celebrated a birthday this yeah. past weekend. So happy birthday to you. Thank you. And you're more than welcome. So we're going to start off with asking you, how does it feel to be a part of a, such a production that just shows people around your age, you know, ways to be confident? It feels, it feels very nice and I'm just really happy that I got to be a part of this whole experience. It's so much fun and I feel like it's really allowed me to embrace my true self and find out who I really am. And yeah. I love that. Girl, you need to have a whole class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. So how was it working with other females that look just like you? What was that experience like? Well, everyone is just so kind and so welcoming. I feel like um, I definitely enjoy being around them because it's just, it's really nice just being able to be with people who look like me and understand me. And Josetra, um, let's talk a little bit about the production itself. Mm -hmm. I know that you're not the writer of it, but right. is this uh, someone that is local that wrote this production? No, so actually it's Vanessa Lynn. So Vanessa Lynn is actually, she's been kind of a partner or a friend of WOW. She is a f close friend of our executive director, Tangie Beatty, and we have done one of her other productions before. So she is up north. I don't know exactly what state, but she's up north. She's not local to Columbia. Now, for those that are not familiar with WOW Productions um, and the Performing Arts Center, mm -hmm. is, it, is it a space that is available for other writers? Uh, yes. Okay, could you share a little more detail? Absolutely. So, yes, our actual venue space is open not just for other writers and performers, also to the general public if they'd like to rent a space. Um, but, yes, in the past we actually have had a local playwright series where we would actually take in scripts from other people and help them to produce their show. So if there is someone in the area that has not done a play before and they need assistance in that area, we do offer that as well. That is absolutely a gift. <laughs> I can't even say amazing. That's absolutely a gift. And speaking of gifts, your Performing Arts Center offers an opportunity or a platform for young ladies like Christina to be able to showcase their talent. What is the age cutoff? Um, so we don't have an age cutoff as far as older. <laughs> it can, you can be any age. As far as starting with our acting classes, we begin at, I believe it's six. It's either six or eight as far as starting with acting classes. But after that, the sky's the limit. Okay. Well, speaking of acting classes, Christina, have you taken part in the acting classes? Mm, not necessarily until now. Until now? I definitely have until in some ways, but not like for real. So are you saying you have natural talent? You didn't have any training before? <laughs> this is all just organic? Mm, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, listen, wherever y'all getting out this organic um, talent, I need some, okay? <laughs> Spare me some. So Deja, the character that you portray, do you feel like you relate to her in any way? Uh, well, it's definitely been a new um, adventure for me, trying to figure out who Deja is, but at the same time, I kind of relate to her. Like, um, I can definitely see like how she's feeling in the play, and I can definitely understand where she's coming from and where her actions are leading her to. All right. Well, I don't want to give away too much because we want people to be a part of the production, actually come and witness the production in person. And so before we get into details about when and where uh, people can see it, why is it important that peop young ladies of color see this production? I feel like it really speaks to every young lady out there um, because it's just, it really describes a lot of things that a lot of people may be going through. Mm -hmm. And so I really want as many people as possible to be able to see this because in my opinion, it speaks out to a lot of people and it just shows everyone 
that you don't have to be um, like this really beautiful model to act. Mm -hmm. But I think you are a very beautiful model, like <laughs> you're a great role model as well. And so we, we do have more details. Uh, we do have to wrap things up here, but we have the details on the screen right there. Josetra, can you share with us the dates and times that people can come by to see this? Absolutely. So starting this Friday at 7.30 p.m., Saturday at 3 o'clock and 7.30 p.m., and Sunday at 3 p.m. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Josetra and Christina, for joining me today and sharing all this wonderful information about such an amazing